YouTube world, what's good? It's your man Silent Word, about to kick off my Poet Weekly series with a little intro. Um, shout out to my man Crooked Eye, my inspiration for doing this. He dropped a 52 week hip hop weekly series about a year or two back. I'm basically mimicking that, but with poetry instead of hip hop. Um, kick it off with a little intro, a poem that I wrote a month ago, entitled Who Am I? And it goes a little something like this. Sometimes I look into the mirror and I don't see anything at all. Not a shell of a body, core or soul. And in the midst of a crowd, I feel considerably alone. The ugly duckling, per se, that's invited to swim with the flock, but never spoken to or paid any attention to. The scars on my body show my pains. Or do they really? I have cuts and slices everywhere. Cutter is what they call me. But if they really knew, they know these cuts are here as my passageway away from the eternal pain that I feel from being called that name or being looked down upon and shamed. I feel society is to blame. You see, Hester Prynne would understand she was branded with an A and forever cast away for something that is done in society even today. And just like her, I was branded. But instead, my letter was a D. D for plainly being different. You see, growing up, I was considered that kid. You know the nerd that would answer all the questions, the RC one that would go off and draw, the kid that loved hockey instead of football, the one that loved to read instead of going out to party, drink, or do drugs. I was different. But who am I really? Am I truly what this world perceives? Once again, I looked into the mirror and I didn't see a shell of a body, core, or soul. Instead, I saw a society of people that are lost, that lash out, lash out at those who aren't like them, those who are different. Then it finally hit me I can't see myself because I am myself. And in this world, you can't see something that is truly beautiful, special, or unique. Only the people that are mentally lost at sea. When I look in the mirror, I see society. Because I am everything society wants to be.